Fine. Whew, that was a close one. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. <laughs> Impeccable work on the dummies, Francine. I never realized how my hair is exactly like the bristles of a push broom. Yeah, I just see these things. I don't know. I make connections. Everyone into your cryo- I hate that place. All those creeps on Grinder just prowling around the tree farm. Sickening. And they always do you up against some shabby Douglas fir. Finding pine needles for weeks, good lord. So we're just giving up on Christmas? Christmas sucks, Steve. Let it go. All right. If everything goes according to- Gotta put your arms down, son. God, he's overpowering me. Stan, it's the dummy. Wow, you even nailed the texture of his skin. Is this pizza? No. No, it's not. He's not here either. That means Steve's computer. Let's leave Jeff in the pod. We'll be right back and he'll be safer there. Good thinking, Haley. Surf's up, Jeffrey. Hiya! <laughs> words. Oh, you know those Starlight Mint you get at restaurants? It's like one of those really got a chance to stretch its legs. Are you explaining a candy cane to me? Let him speak! Uh, excuse me, when does the other train get... It is a thing I don't have or want to have. This is so strange. How can they have forgotten their own children? Do you think there might be something in the candy canes? Oh my god, that's it! Who licked my candy cane? Why am I a fish? I'm going to the North Pole. Damn, Route 2 train town. This is Rainforest Cafe caliber enchantment. So you're telling me that my ears and stretched <laughs> my body. Oh. My name's Puddin'. Why were you banished? Well, I didn't do anything wrong. It's just like the culture up there was really diseased, and it was all just like clicky politics, and people were really threatened by clear communication. You were the problem. Followed by Coco? <clears throat> oh, no. This boy fainted? Hey, he needs juice and maybe a sugar cookie. And what the hell, I'll take one, too. Oh, my God! Steve Smith, what the hell are you doing here? Santa? We'll be dashed to pieces. Not with my Christmas magic, we won't. The rocks are gonna open. The season's rising up in me. I believe, I believe in the magic of Christmas. Ba -la -la -la. Dear, any guys looking to smash? I call a shotgun. The girl. <laughs> well, if it isn't my no-good son and his deadbeat friends. Hey, Dad. When I told you I was driving a bus in Baltimore, it was so you'd be impressed. Kidnapped Steve! Steve Harvey? Santa's gone too far this time! No! Steve Smith! Your grandson! Fine. Hey! I was going to the wharf to yell at the bucket drummers! Tough! We're going to the North Pole. Where are we? We're nowhere. We're on a channel between time and space. Before and after all things. Hey, you know, I was thinking, we could call you Grampus. That is my name. No, like with a G, like like Grandpa and Krampus. Behind the line now! I think I see the perfect cover right before my eyes. Fish for sale! Got a fish for sale! Mmm, fish! Finally! Head on in! <laughs> Smiths, you're never gonna make it out of the North Pole alive. Oh, sir, we found the other stone. Oh, let me see it. Beautiful. They're both mine. But I have to say, if you guys had a grand design, I'd at least listen to it. Of course, I've always been curious. Even as a child, I took apart my alarm clock to see how it worked. But that's me. And you guys are you. And, uh... I guess I gotta respect that. Now, boys, why the hell do you have this? Cue lights. A long time ago, in the fertile riverlands of Mesopotamia, there were an ancient people called the Sumerians. 
And it is from them that we inherit the world's oldest and most well-known story. Defeated Humbaba, cutting off his enormous head, he was gifted with the Seven Radiances. Granting Gilgamesh immeasurable power. In some translations, the Radiances are referred to as the Seven Aura. And why? Because they got Pangea wrong! My calculations put the Cedar Forest right under the North Pole! Why else would I base my operations here? The weather? <laughs> GI footage of me flying around and zapping buildings with my fingers. It worked in rehearsals. Tony, why did... Tony, can we kill the music? Tony, why did the other stuff work and this didn't? They were on different hard drives. ...the full power of his seven radiances. Or auras. Silence! They're heavier than they look. I dropped one earlier. Now, to become a god! Five, six, seven! They're all here! Now fly into my body, please! It's a uh, very subtle feeling. They flew past you. Supposed to be all powerful! Why is all my stuff going in the mouth? What's happening in there anyways? Go look! Uh, all I see is fire! <laughs> I thought it was just the head! Not in Bitterman's translation! He theorized that the throat was cut, but the body was intact! I've never even seen you read a magazine! <laughs> Christmas. So stupid. We have to go the other way! Yeah, Steve! Think about your Christmas love! What's to love? The whole holiday was just a front for a slave mining operation because some lunatic wanted to take over the world. Guy. Stan, can I catch a ride? Got my first shift for Southwest Airlines today. What? You don't know anything about being a flight attendant? But I do know comedy, and that's all that matters at Southwest. With you there, people should check their sensitivities at the gate. Oh my god, that's like a perfect Southwest! The gun range tonight, so I'm gonna be late for dinner. Unless I eat with Diane. Then we'll just eat when we're hungry. Stan is spending a lot of time with this Diane person, don't you think? Klaus, when you're married to a sexy man, there's always going to be some bush league sniz trying to storm the castle. Aren't you worried? Yeah, I'm worried. Sharon! What up, Freddy? Caroline. Where's Connie? Hey, y'all. Television star Connie Britton, you made it! Friends, friends, friends! wasn't giving. He said he's taking her to the rain. Long drive. He's playing dumb. Goodbye, Stan. This Diane's a serious threat. Hey, I'm the serious threat. Go take care of business. Punch her in them floppy tits. Ooh. It looks like the bank. Trevor! <laughs> See that? I crushed. God, what a high. You're cute. How about after we go wheels up, I come in there and go heels up, and you can unload your passengers at gate A. Donna forgot to mention, if we lose things at, at, you know, I'm not explaining. Is it, is it hot in here? Is, is this a hot plane? Whatever Donna's drinking, I hope the pilot didn't have any. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Looks like another late one with Diane. Stay as late as you need to. Oh, God, I'm gonna finish in record time! He never finishes fast with me! Can I help you? I don't think so. I'm here to deal with Diane. That's me. No, you're not. Diane's in there, finishing off my husband. I'm obviously not in there. This is all the stuff I said before. And when I put it on the track, it goes fast! Oh! Ooh! Oh! Oh! So... You're not hooking up with... Bring it immediately and tie it around my waist. Why, you must be so relieved to go from thinking your husband was cheating on you to realizing he's an amazing athlete. But, but why didn't you tell me about this? Because I knew you'd try to... Bullman Ferg.
Prepare yourself for a rage boner, Francine. I gotta go to the bathroom. Make sure you use the wet wipes just in case I want to go mousing around down there. Here I come, ladies. All right, Roger said we can all fly for free somewhere, so we need to agree on a place to go. I vote for Nepali State Park. Wait, that's what I was gonna say. So was I, this is crazy! Hawaii? Here. Take hundreds. <laughs> he can make jokes out of anything. Guys, guys, you know me. Do I respond rationally when a new thing I'm into is met with resistance? So how about it? Are we all going to Fort Worth via Buffalo? Let him go! Okay, I just thought you could do it in cooler shoes. A V-neck sweater and jeans so tight you have to put your dick and balls down different legs. Let's just hurry this up. Mel's counting on me to be ready for this weekend's race. Mel? Mel's my lane monkey. Grooms the track, greases turns. Can't grease too much, though. The cars can shoot off the track. You want me to carry hundreds of tiny screwdrivers in my pockets? Are you crazy? Oh, my pants just ripped again. Oh, you're just sitting there. I got a weird ass. We wasted the whole day at the mall. Now I've got to rush to the internet. With good reason. He's not an actor. He's just a doctor. <gasps> well, you're a doctor too. Doctor Evil. One million dollars. That's you. <laughs> Wife, Francine. So nice to finally meet you. What the? We should go, Stan. Yep, right behind you. Just how I like it. <laughs> Kidding. That's Mel? Yep, she's my lane monkey. I want to go there. You're awake! I've been experimenting with steroids. It's awesome. Now I wear tank tops with the thinnest straps you've ever seen. Just worry about the race and the killer joke about your name that Stan's got locked and loaded for after he wins. Good luck. People have been trying to make fun of the Bowman Ferg name for years, but it's bulletproof. And you're not gonna have a chance anyway, cause you're a loser. A Stupid stuff! Oh, there's an easy way to fix this. Just sleep with one of his co-workers. That works. Or that super ripped fish. He's hot. Or someone closer to him, like his little buddy Steve. No, I'm not sleeping with Steve! What? Then there's James Mishner. He didn't write his first book until he was 40. Helen Mirren wasn't hot until she turned 70. Yeah, Stan, you have a long list of late bloomers. <sighs> Can I ask you a question? Do you like spoiled little kids? Spoiled little kids sitting there all, where's my apple juice? <laughs> <laughs> Exit row gets it. Meanwhile, coach passengers be like, Can I have a seat? Can I have a seat? Remains indestructible. I wouldn't be so sure, Foolman Ferg. You have destroyed me. Look for me in the obituaries. Yes! You did it, Stan! Well, I can't stop thinking about what we did last night. <laughs> Francine! I cheated with Mel! <laughs> oh, God, I knew it! I threw it all away! I had it all, and I threw it all away! <laughs> No, it was my fault! I pushed you away! So we wouldn't lose speed on the turns! Dead to the tires! I should have let you do that to me! Wait, are you talking about cheating at slot cars? Yes, my title means nothing! I'm a fraud! Oh, good. Our marriage is fine. Stan, I was wrong for trying... Bring it immediately and tie it around my waist. <laughs> Why, wow, you must be 